All right, class, uh, today's lesson is on irrigation, so I want to show you some of the systems that we have in and out of the greenhouse. Again, we're trying to maximize efficiency on irrigation and deliver precise amounts of water. I'll show you the good and the bad, and uh, a couple systems are better for some plants over others. All right, let's take a look. Okay, guys, here we are in our uh, bag culture production in the Chino greenhouse. Uh, this is bag culture. And this is a microtube. It runs off of a half inch drip line like regular drip, except the microtube punches directly into this line. This is the shutoff pattern. You can see water squirting out of there. If I put the emitter in from the top, it sprays a pattern like this. This spray pattern is going down into this bag culture and it's delivering the precise nutrient and water that this plant needs and it puts it out in a spray pattern to get a good wetting pattern in the whole bag. Okay, here is our poinsettia plants. Uh, there's a little less than 200 here and they are on a capillary tray. It's just a regular expansion metal table like those there. We've just covered these expanded metal with uh, heavy, uh, this was actually a pond liner material, EPDM. Uh, and then we have a piece of weed fabric to hold the moisture a little bit. And I just ran these tables. So you can see about a quarter to half inch of water on this table. The key is getting it nice and level. And for these poinsettias, we don't want water on the foliage, especially as the bracts start to develop. So from watering below, the water will move up through capillary action through the good porosity of the peat and perlite, etc., whatever we're using for our media. And so this system is automated here by a valve, and it's got a shutoff valve. And so I have this hooked to a timer. When a little current of uh, electricity runs, it opens this solenoid. The solenoid, which I'm going to mimic the opening of the solenoid, and water starts to flow through this three-quarter inch setup water is coming out here. We put it in a pot because these are moving tables and as these tables move we want the pipe to drag and move along the table um, and then the water flows out onto the table. It's a great system. We use geraniums here in the spring. Keeps the, keeps the water off the flowers. Okay, this is our mist table with spray heads for small propagation puts a nice cloud fog of mist. Alright, another type of sprinkler irrigation a little bit further down we have spray table. The coarseness of the spray, we have a lot of larger sized plants on the table and so we use a spray system. You can see that spray running. Here is a drip system set up with three quarter inch line and the three quarter inch line is running a different type of sprayer. This sprayer is running off of a quarter inch line as opposed to the eighth inch microtubing we saw before. These sit directly in the plant and deliver the water precisely where it's needed. Again we have three quarter inch line running into the top. Again, we have three quarter inch line. This is the micro tube. It's running these micro sprays on the top of the tower and the tower runs down through. This water is collected and run back into a reservoir. And so a different modification of drip system. We have a lot of different hydroponic systems in here for irrigation. We have these aeroponic towers. We have the uh, raft culture with the uh, with the root suspended right in the water, we have the uh, ebb and flow with the plant roots growing right in the rock. The water comes up and then stays for about 15 minutes and then drops back down and goes down for a while. That's our Swiss chard production and ebb and flow. This is drip tape. You can run a lot of 
linear foot with not a lot of gallons because this tape compresses and then it puffs up when the pressure and water arrives and you can run a pretty big size area just off of uh, one small line. A very efficient, uh, kind of relaxing, but uh, time consuming method for watering. Here we are in the orchard with a modified drip system. So we have hard pipe PVC down in the ground leading to a valve, a rigid riser that comes up, and then a multi-port at the top. All the multi-ports are capped off except for two. Spaghetti tubing runs down directly to the tree where we need it now, but the flexibility allows for us to expand this tree, and then the rigid hard pipe keeps gophers and such off of it from uh, chewing it and breaking it. Especially if we're going to be mowing, uh, maintaining around here, these rigid risers are a lot better than having the poly tube on the ground. Okay, we're in our cover crop area. Uh, just put a fall cover crop down. You can see the uh, pivot sprinkler head. And as we watch it, it's hitting this deflector. And so the deflector determines the distance, but then this toggle is hitting water down below, so it's not just hitting the distance. We got equal coverage out in here. And if you didn't catch that, it was ch all right, this is a type of uh, hydroponics. Uh, this has turned into an NFT system. Uh, it's a type of irrigation here. We have a uh, poly tube delivering the water to this reservoir. If you look down in the reservoir, a little bit of water is flowing in there. The plant's roots have a wick leading down into there and a little uh, container for holding the roots. The water runs all the way down, drops down at the end, runs all the way back down here, drops into this reservoir, and then there's a pump leading out of the reservoir, taking the water back up to the top and doing it all over again, constant, 24-7, NFT nutrient film technique. NFT nutrient film technique.